Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. My name is Sherry and I'm a reference librarian here at Lincoln Library. Um, today we will be doing the Take and Make Kit, uh, the embroidery, uh, I'm sorry, the Vintage Doily and Embroidery Hoop Craft. Um, this is what you should have picked up if you registered. If you didn't register, we still have some kits available. I would love for you to come by and pick them up. Um, I unfortunately cannot hold them for you, so if other people pick them up, um, it is a first come first serve basis at this point, but um, you can still come get yours. And if you don't, um, the only, if you don't have one, the only supplies that you need are an embroidery hoop, which you can purchase um, at craft stores. I know Walmart has them. Um, the Dollar Tree may have them as well. They have a pretty impressive crafting section now. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, and then you'll need a doily. Um, these doilies I bought on Amazon. Um, I have made these myself with doilies that my nana, my grandma, who uh, has passed away many years ago, but she had crocheted these um, and my mom gave me a bunch of them. And so I actually have her doilies. Um, if you like to crochet, you can crochet your own doilies for this. Um, it's, uh, they're also, I've seen them at um, like garage sales or secondhand shops have them as well. So uh, let's get started. Um, what you're going to first want to do is take your hoop and the little screw up here you're going to want to loosen up these doilies that were in the kit are kind of thicker so i would go ahead and loosen it up as much as i can without actually removing the screw from the hoop okay and then just snap them apart you're going to lay the loop or the hoop without the screw on it down flat on a surface and then just lay this on on there as even as possible try to get the the center of the doily um, as centered as possible and there just like that and then you're going to take and this is a really easy quick craft that's why i like it um, you're just going to take your top loop and stretch it out as far as you can without the screw coming out if you take the screw all the way out I, that's fine too um, i just find it easier uh, to do it this way without trying to um, get the screw back in there uh, once we have it over the doily. So go ahead and just slide this over your other loop with the doily in there like this. And like I said, this doily is a little bit thicker, so it may take some working. You may need to unscrew the screw a little bit more. Um, you can do it without taking the screw out. And like I said, that's what I recommend. But if that's not, if it's not working for you, then that's fine. Take the screw out and you can just put it back in there. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you can kind of see it's pretty centered actually already the first time I've done it. Um, it's a little loose. There's a little give in there. That's fine. I like to tighten it up just a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure that my screw at this point is as tight as it will go without getting a screwdriver out or a wrench out to do that. Um, just kind of make sure it's tight in there. And then just to, to tighten this up a little bit, I'm just going to pull on the scalloped edge here a little bit. And you can also do this if your center of your doily, the little hole there is not centered in the loop. Um, just finagle the edges of the doily around your loops. Make sure you hold on to your loops when you do this or else you're gonna pop that top loop off. And then you'll have to start over. But I'm gonna just kind of tighten it up and you see on mine where this, there's this white edging here. I'm going to try to make that as even around my loop as possible. So I am going to pull and pull Sometimes it's easy to do this on the edge of a table. You just hold it and put a little part over the edge and just twist it and pull those edges. And make sure you keep that top loop down because it wants, it'll want to pop off. And just pull, okay. And then once you're satisfied, that is it. This is the quickest and easiest craft. Um, Here's your wall hanging. This is it, literally. This is all, um, all you have to do. If you have a nail that's in your wall already, you could probably just, with this part right here, just put it on there. Um, you could take some burlap or some string or fish wire if you don't want it to show and just tie it on there and then you can hang it on your wall. 
Um, this looks really pretty with the scalloped edging on it. A flat up against the wall would be really pretty. If you don't want the scalloped edging, you could always cut along here. I would say it, leave at least half an inch on there though, um, just in case it falls and the top loop pops off, uh, you'll be able to uh, tighten it back in there um, and have something to hold on to, uh, to, to put it back together. But um, this, is, this is it. This is your doily, vintage doily embroidery hoop craft. Super easy, super fun, really pretty. Once you get it on the wall, um, what gave me this idea was actually a book that we have here at the library. Um, just different ways of decorating with uh, secondhand items, uh, thrift items. Um, the picture, it was just a quick picture, a small picture, but it had a whole uh, section of a wall. It was like a motif. It had a bunch of different sizes. Um, so when I asked my mom for some of the doilies that my Nana had made me, there were different sizes. So I went to Walmart and bought different sized hoops. This is a three inch one. So this is an actual vintage doily that my, my Nana crocheted a very, very long time ago. Um, it's in kind of a cream color. And uh, again, I like the scalloped edging on this. A flat up against the wall would be really pretty. So I'm probably gonna keep that on there. Um, I have this one, which is a six inch one. Um, this looks really pretty too, but I might cut this edging off so it'll kind of look like this. You won't be able to see, you know, you won't be able to see behind it, but um, up against the wall, but it'll be really pretty. And then I also have a 12 inch one. This one's very large, uh, but I think they're really pretty um, as well. The, the, you know, the different sizes uh, is nice. Um, this doesn't stop at the doilies. If you have, um, if you have a shirt that you like a saying on it, or it's like got a pretty picture or a pretty pattern, um, or uh, in this case, my daughter has a onesie that I really loved. And of course, the, you know, babies grow out of clothes so fast. Um, so she only got to wear it a few times, but I, I really enjoy the shirt. It's a really pretty, really pretty onesie. Um, I went ahead and just did this. I just put it in the embroidery hoop, tightened it up. Um, I will be cutting off, you know, the sleeves and everything, of course. Um, so once that's all cut off and uh, it's just the loop with the onesie in it. Um, just a neat way to kind of honor that moment in her life and kind of show off this onesie that I really liked. Um, if you have like a grandparent that passed away and they had a beloved shirt that had like a, you know, a, a logo or something, um, anything that reminds you of that loved one, this is a great way to showcase that. Um, it's better than putting the shirt away in a box and never seeing it, you know, and it's, it's just a neat way to be able to decorate as well. Um, takes up good good space on your wall if you're looking for uh, something that will give you uh, some something a, dec a decorations for for a blank space on your wall. So um, so that is it. Um, like I said, we do have some kits available. Um, those of you who registered, please come get yours. Um, I cannot hold them under your name, unfortunately, like I said, but uh, I think we have about five left. Um, they'll be at the reference desk on the second floor of the library. This is what they will look like. I just think they're charming. I just think they're really pretty. Um, and like I said, if you, you aren't able to make it up here, if you have some supplies like this at home, it's, it takes five minutes to do. Um, it's a lot of fun. So. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, you can give us a call. The number is 217-753-4900. You can also email us to asklincolnlibrary at gmail.com. Uh, again, my name is Sherry. I'm a reference librarian here at Lincoln Library, and it has been fun. Thanks for joining me.